What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the week of SEMA in Las Vegas. And um, I'm just gonna show you guys um, basically a, a pre-show video. It's the weekend, everyone is setting up. So there's some stuff rolling in. There's a lot of cool vehicles here already. You don't really need a badge to, to see some of the stuff that's parked out here. If you're a local and you just wanna see some cool cars, just walk down the sidewalk and you can see some cool cars that are um, rolling in to the show right now. So let's walk around and take a look at um, a lot of the vehicles we see here. Of course, I focus on the off-road vehicles, so let's start off with um, all the off-road vehicles. And right off the bat, check this out. Look at this Jeep. Pretty nice. I don't know who makes this adventure trailer. These come in handy for Jeep guys because Jeep guys don't have a lot of space. So they got to carry their stuff on a trailer. It says CVT, so I'm assuming this is a CVT trailer as well because there's a CVT stamp right there. Okay, this beast over here. It's an older Jeep. I don't know what year this one is. This looks like a CJ7 maybe? I used to have a CJ7. Look at that. Hydraulic steer assist. That is a beast. Looks like there's a V8 underneath there, I think. This is definitely not a show queen. Look at those wheels, man. Those are KMC wheels as well. It's pretty nice. Ooh, look at this Ford F-150. Grid wheels. Again, not too overly done, just a small lift. Aftermarket wheels. A couple parts here and there. It's also by Armadillo. And then here's one that's over the top. <laughs> F-250, a gold F-250. Look at this. This is uh, what you see at SEMA a lot. A lot of the over-the-top stuff to grab your attention. Mall crawler, basically. I'm proud of it. Look over here. Here's something you don't see very often. You don't see very many Nissan Armadas. Look at that. This one's... Uh, I don't even know if it has a lift at all. This looks like your basic Nissan Armada but they put some uh, Volk wheels and some uh, what are these Falcon tires Pretty nice Toyota Tacoma this one's obviously sponsored by Bilstein I like that bumper look how the bar covers the entire grill that's cool some wild suspension method wheels free spirit rooftop tent very cool. Oh, here's the road shower. This is the uh, road shower four. It's supposed to be the latest edition. If you don't know about these, um, that's pressurized water. You pump it up with some pressure. You got a shower right there, and it even has a temperature gauge to tell you how hot the water is. Here's an old school Toyota Land Cruiser. I don't know what year this is. Probably a sixty something. That's nice. Solid axles, leaf spring suspension. Very old school. Check out that winch. It's a brand new winch, but in an old design, the old style. Kind of matches the uh, Land Cruiser. Check out this uh, newer Toyota Land Cruiser. That's nice. ARB bumper, Baja design floodlights. A worn winch tucked in there. Not a very big lift, which is probably good. Just keep it simple. Overlanding. You don't need a whole lot, a whole lot of lift for all overlanding. This one's by RPM Garage Off Road. Look at that bumper. That's nice. See how the bumper goes all the way to the tire? I like that. V8 power too. That's the nice thing about these Land Cruisers. They're um, factory V8s. A lot of people complain that um, the Tacomas and even the 4Runners for that matter 
lack in power especially when you start putting all these extra parts on it and then going up to the mountains it just kind of bogs down you need a v8 that's the nice thing about going with these uh, land cruisers is that they got a big torquey v8 probably not good on gas but who cares right wow look at this s2000 so this is a honda s2000 little tiny two-seater but they stuffed the corvette 5.7 liter v8 under the hood so you got all kinds of torque in this thing that must be a beast and it actually fits in there too it's a nice thing about these uh s2000s is they had a really long front end so you can actually squeeze in a v8 under the hood and not even need a special hood at least not that i know of anyway maybe a little bit of a bump but not much check out that camber oh my god it's crazy Right hand drive, S2K. says it's from uh, royaldefenders.com that is cool you don't see these every day these are all European upgrades for the most part look at that it's like a grill guard Let's look at these tires trepidor maxis trepidors got some serious tread on these things look at that Land Rovers are pretty awesome looking vehicles. Probably not the most reliable from what I hear, but definitely unique for sure. Look at these bars, man. Thick bars. Huge rack on top. <laughs> these little uh, windows lift the light in up top. Sliding windows. Tons of LEDs. Full size spare. That is cool. Here's a nice Raptor. Tons of parts on here. Oh, look at that. Got a carbon fiber hood. That's sexy. Rigid curved LED. Skid plates. King off road shocks. Dirt King arms. Toyo tires, method wheels. That's nice. Look at this tire rack in the back. When you're bombing through the desert, hundreds of miles from support, you got to carry your own spare tires. And a lot of them. You never know, you might blow out a wheel. Check out this old Porsche. That's cool. It's got off-road bumpers, extra lights for going off-road. It's only two-wheel drive. See, who says you need all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive to go off-road? These Porsche guys have been racing two-wheel drives for a long time. Look, it's got a roof rack with a spare tire. Got the jack up there. <laughs> got a off-road bumper in the back. Bombing through the desert in this thing with two-wheel drive. Check out this uh, Nissan GTR with a crazy paint job. Look at this Bugatti. Damn. Bugatti time. Oh, he's actually going to park this thing. Two million bucks. That's a deal. <laughs> Check out this Cadillac with the suicide doors. Look at 
all these trucks. So here's a whole bunch of mall crawlers right here, all up, all lined up, all the way down. Tons of them. Here's a big old Dodge Ram with a Cummins. All kinds of stuff done to this one. This is uh, over the top, like you see at SEMA. This is what you expect. Fab Forge Grumper. I think they call that a Grumper. Fox shocks in there. Humongous wheels. What are these? These are uh, 42s on 26 inch wheels. These are, who are these? Grid. Grid off road wheels. 26 inch. <laughs> this little tiny fender. Little tiny, little tiny fenders. Don't even bother trying to cover these wheels. They're too big. And then there's your window visor kind of thing. Kind of gives you a mean look. Power steps. Fab fours. Uh, what is that? Like a bed, like a headache rack kind of thing. Oh, this one's cool. This one's actually not really a mall crawler. This one's a flatbed. Dodge Ram with the Cummins turbo diesel and a nice big old flatbed in the back. I can actually use that. That's cool. Jesus, look at the size of that exhaust. Check out this Ferrari. It's camouflage. <laughs> I never thought I would see a camouflage Ferrari. Must be a tactical military Ferrari. <laughs> Just kidding. That's badass. This is how the uh, Italian officers get around the battlefield on a camouflage Ferrari. That's cool. Yikes, look at this Dodge. That is nice. Challenger SRT slammed to the ground. Wide body kit. Deep dish wheels. This is nuts. Look at this old uh, Jeep. What is this, a Willys? <laughs> That's cool. So they take an old Jeep and then put like $100,000 worth of engineering into it to make it into a long travel desert runner. That is cool. Two wheel drive, but probably really capable off-road. Yep, 54 wheelies. Not a lot of room in there. Look at that long travel, I mean crazy long travel. The pivot point is like right underneath the cab. That's crazy long. So at one point, um, I was shopping around for a, a budget vehicle to drive to work. And I thought about getting a Subaru. Especially uh, one of these older ones, you know. You can get them pretty cheap. They're all-wheel drive. Got a reliable engine. And uh, look what you can do to these things, man. This is a couple years old. I don't know what year this is. But, um, yeah, you can pick one of these old Subarus up for cheap. And uh, they're pretty capable off-road. Look, he's got a worn winch with uh, some kind of, like, almost like a bumper it's not a full bumper just a little small bumper in the front he put some rhino lining on it it's turbocharged you can tell by the uh, functional hood scoop there got a little bit of a lift it's got some uh one of these black rhino wheels very cool i don't know what kind of suspension he's got on there Falcon tires. Oh look, he even has the ditch lights. <laughs> That's cool. I've never seen anyone put ditch lights on the mirrors. That's actually pretty smart. He just drilled some holes and made a bracket. 
that's actually a good idea instead of putting them over here just put them right on your uh, mirror I, saw I might have to uh, steal that idea and he's got a LED light bar underneath the rack so you, you don't break your LEDs when you have stuff packed up there got extra fuel extra water mat tracks up there got an awning by front runner cargo box up there that racks by uh, front runner too by the way I think this this spare tire carrier actually plugs into yeah it plugs into his um, his trailer hitch so you don't have to buy a whole new bumper just throw that on there that's actually really cool that's by Wilco off-road I like that really really like that <laughs> it's like off-roading on a budget <laughs> I like it very cool I know you come to SEMA and you want to see these million dollar vehicles but you know these budget vehicles like this actually impress me even more than the, than the million dollar vehicles because this is something that I could do myself and I really like this he's got a road shower for pressurized water you got your shovel so you can dig yourself out of situations man I don't know why but I'm really digging this car I wouldn't mind buying one and doing it up like that look at this uh, Jeep by 511 it's got tons of sponsors on this one but um, the first thing that I noticed was the big uh, 511 on the side it's got a topographical map for uh, I think it's a wrap not really a paint job that's cool man tons and tons of stuff on here it just goes on for days you got a stinger bumper by Evo super winch in the front obviously it's turbocharged because you can see the uh, intercooler icon suspension icon wheels those are uh, bead locks cooper tires KC ditch lights KC flood lights little LED lights there I like that free spirit rooftop tent check out that tire carrier that's cool it's like it protects your tire so you can get hit in the back by another vehicle and you don't have to worry about your tire getting jacked up you don't have to worry about your vehicle getting jacked up for that matter look how big these uh, these bars are it's insane some serious protection I like it very very cool here's something I almost walked right past and even notice so you can actually bolt these steps onto your hinges see these come out like this you can pull them out you can step there step up and get to your gear same thing over here that's cool so here's a good example of a mall crawler Jeep definitely not made to go off-road well I mean you could take it off-road but um, it's not made to do that this is uh, more like a billboard for his company but uh, yeah it's <laughs> it's definitely a mall crawler with the baby blue uh, accents and the white paint it wouldn't take much to make this into a real rock crawler though Ooh, that's nice this is an OD green Chevy truck You got a $50,000 truck. The first thing they do is paint it OD green. <laughs> Which is nice, because this is an homage to the US Army. Er, Hua, Hua, Army guys. Truck hero. I dig it. Oh look, the lug nuts are supposed to look like, um, I guess 50 caliber rounds. I'm guessing, I don't know for sure. That's what I'd guess. That's actually pretty cool. Check out this old Dodge Crew Cab. I don't even know what model it is, but they got an old Dodge body sitting on top of this $100,000 frame. Airbag suspension, hostile wheels, dude's fab shop. So the, the frame and engine and suspension is literally one off and a work of art. And then they put this old Dodge rusted body right on top of it. Still looks badass though. I like it, man. That's cool. All right, so I, I found a Tacoma. They just literally 
Knock my socks off, man. This thing is nice. This is by TacomaBeast.com, I think. I see it on the back there. But uh, let's take a closer look at this thing because it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Check out the armor on this thing. Wow. CBI armor, man. These guys are killing it, man. That is awesome. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't even know who makes this bumper. Let's see if I can see a branding on here. I don't know. Maybe CBI? Probably CBI. It looks like their style. That's cool. Mickey Thompson's. Get your uh, ditch lights. Man, I love these rock sliders. Look at that. Get a good shot of these rock sliders. So you can actually step on these as steps and also use them as rock sliders for when your truck lands on a big ass boulder. That's cool. It's not even crazy lifted either. That's the thing I like about it. It's like you could use this as a daily driver. You could fit into drive throughs and parking garages because it's not very tall. That's where these uh, these bed cages come in handy. They can lower your platform so you can keep your rooftop tent on as a daily driver and the wind kind of just blows over the top. Because that's the big complaint with a lot of people is that they don't like the uh, ladder underneath this uh, vinyl. It, it becomes a big, huge obstacle in the wind, but if you get a lower bed cage, you can kind of bypass that problem. It's nice. Some uh, sand tracks. This is another company by uh, Tread. It's a different company. Usually I see a lot of mat tracks. Again, here's why I like CBI. If I build me a Tacoma, I'm definitely going with CBI. Most likely. Because the the bumper goes all the way to the wheel. So if a rock comes up, bam! You're protected, man. That's so cool. You got your high left, high left jack. Your auto packs. Full spare. Swing away. Man, that is beautiful. Check out the... Uh, Aftermarket LEDs too. <laughs> that was nice. What is this? It's called a water port. I guess you can get pressurized water. You can pump that up and you're gonna have uh, a little quick disconnect for pressurized water. That's cool. He's got more water up there and more fuel. Yeah. That thing is gorgeous. Let's do another flyby because it's just so pretty. I love that armor down there. Here's another badass Tacoma, wide body, long travel, second gen. It's got some cool aftermarket, like angel headlights. I like that wide body kit. This is also uh, by Tacoma Beast, I think. Yeah, TacomaBeast.com. Oh, shit. These guys are making some really nice trucks. Look at this Chevy Colorado. These things are really becoming popular. This guy actually uh, rock crawls this thing, too. It's all dirty still. <laughs> I didn't even clean it. That's cool. Stealth fighter bumper. Get that high clearance. Bead locks. Got suspension on there. That's nice. They got a good look. Rock rails. CBI truck rack. The uh, truck bed rack in the back. CVT tent. 
I wouldn't mind having a Colorado, especially if it looked like this. It's got the Titan extended fuel tanks, I think, because it says Titan fuel tanks right there. That's cool. If you can go 300 or 400 miles on this thing, that would be really badass. All right, so they're still setting up the front parking lot area. Let's just do a little flyby of what's out here. Just so many things. Look at this rat rod, man. That's pretty badass. That's crazy. Nice old VW truck. Nissan GTR with a chameleon paint job. VW, Mustang, Corvette. Look at this old Land Cruiser. That's nice. Look at that. He's got a Lexan hood. Look at these things. Look at that. Wow. Check out that uh, dirt bike that's got snow tire or snow tracks on it. It's got that old stuff. Is that BMW? Is that a Chevelle? Check out that Ford over there. There's a Dodge. BMW. It's a Roadster. Look at this old Buick. What the hell? Damn. Damn! There's a Mazda. I think this is a car from Australia, I think. Look at this old lowrider. Got a mix of everything, man. That's wild. Just that one walk alone was amazing. There's so many different cars. Muscle cars, classic cars, lowriders, off-roaders, you name it. So you got these this uh, Corvette Stingray. Check out this Ford van. It's a cargo van at the Ford booth at SEMA. That's pretty slick. It's four wheel drive, I believe. Lifted, off road bumpers, LEDs. It's got a rigid light bar up top. I actually really like this. Uh, hopefully I can get a look at, of this thing uh, on the inside. Yeah, it's 4x4, four four, done by Quigley. You see right there. It's pretty nice. It even has a rooftop tent. I'll have to take a look inside there later. Check out this uh, brand new Ford Ranger here at SEMA. Look at that bumper. That's nice. It's got a worn winch in there. It's like a stinger kind of style, rigid LEDs. It's got a little bit of a lift. I'm guessing those are factory Ford wheels. This is at the Ford booth. It's the Ranger XLT. And some ditch lights. Oh, check out the uh, snorkel on this thing. Look at that. That's cool. A snorkel so you can go um, crossing rivers. That is nice. I don't really like those steps, but they're doable. Got a Yakima truck bed rack with a Yakima rooftop tent. Some roto packs. I got a cargo rack right here. And an awning with some, uh, what are these, mat tracks? Yep, recovery tracks. It's actually pretty nice. I like it. Jeeps and trucks, a lot of off-road vehicles. SEMA is definitely becoming a big off-road show, that's for sure. That's crazy. Look at that. And these ones are mall crawlers, but still works of art. Look at this thing. It's Polaris. It's a military vehicle. This is badass. This is that uh, prototype Polaris military vehicle I saw last year. Now they have it outside. Let's take a closer look at this thing. 
So I think the whole mindset behind this was is they wanted a four-wheel drive um, utility vehicle that you could fit inside of a, a transport helicopter. You could fly this thing around. It's lightweight, a lot lighter than an armored vehicle, like a Hummer or a MRAP. You know, this is really, really light. It's tiny. It's, it's a side-by-side, -side basically, but beefed up. It's got a four-wheel drive. It's got a winch in the front with a beefy bumper. Take some impacts, beadlock wheels, Fox suspension. I'm assuming it's turbocharged. I don't know what engine is in there, but it's from Polaris. Everything has been um, basically ruggedized with some type of like uh, really tough paint. You could beat the crap out of this thing. It's automatic. You can seat four soldiers in here, and these seats are actually pretty comfortable, it looks like. Unlike uh, a Hummer. Got a roll cage with the uh, machine gun mount in the middle. It's actually not mounted, but you could put a machine gun in there, a turret. Let's see, are these doors open? No, they're locked. Long travel rear suspension. Here's where you put all your gear. Your bullets, beans, and blankets go back there full-size spare with a swing away rack oh it's Linex yeah this stuff is by Linex oh it's called the dagger that's right this is the Polaris dagger pretty cool see here's your mounts right here you could hook that up to a helicopter and fly this thing in to tight spaces here's your other hooks right there you can drop this into a valley or into a jungle that you can't land a, an airplane. And then you can scoot around, scoot and shoot. Pretty cool, I like it. Here's your Ford Raptor, all dirty. I think this one was in a project that says Expedition SEMA. Yeah, so it went from Glacier, Montana, all the way through these off-road areas, all the way down to New Mexico. Hachita Peak, New Mexico. So this thing was basically off-road all the way till it got to SEMA, for the most part. That's pretty badass. Sounds like a fun trip. Check this out. I don't even know what this is. I think it's a Mazda. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got a, I think that's a rotary engine in there. Turbocharged rotary engine. Check out the transmissions, like right inside the middle of the car. <laughs> that is so cool. Check out those racing seats. That is nuts. Crazy wide body. That is cool, man. It's from British Columbia. It's Canadian. Mazda R100. I'm not familiar with this, but it is badass. There's another shot of that transmission. Amazing. All right, so we're on the far south side of the property. Nice forerunner Jeep. Let's see what's tucked away back here. Ooh, look at this. It's a Jeep truck. Tons and tons of trucks down here. See, it goes even further too. You go back there and there's these, I think there's like two or three big humongous tents over there. This place is just nuts, man. So tomorrow this whole place is gonna be jam packed with so many people. I won't even be able to get pictures or video without somebody ruining the shot. So. <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying how quiet it is with this whole setup. Check this Jeep out at the centerline booth. That is nuts. Let's take a closer look at this thing. I've never seen a grill like this one. This must be a Fab Four's new bumper. So this bumper keeps the debris from destroying your front end. And it, they got these new things now where they fly out here and go into your, to your fender. That's cool. I don't remember seeing that before. That's really cool. It's got a Warren Winch. Skyjacker lift. 
Big old tire super swampers. I like those wheels, center line wheels. They're like solid. Almost look like they're bulletproof. That's nice. And there's their famous uh, windshield thingamajig visor thing. It holds your LEDs and it's like a visor. That's cool. Look at these seats. Road wire leather interiors. The dash is pretty much factory. Look at this. I like this. It's like, uh, like rock sliders. And then it goes right up into your, your fenders here. That's cool. I like it. You got a distinct design for sure. Uh, the guys at Fab Fours have a certain style. It's very cool. Oh, check this out. Look at this uh, Toyota 4Runner at the center line booth at SEMA. Look at these wheels, man. I like it. Very cool. I like that tire carry too. It like swings out so you can get access to your hatch in the back. Looks like a stock axle. A little bit of a lift. Got some rock sliders. That's nice. All right, well, they must got something going on under the hood. Something special must be going on under there because they got a bulge. I wonder if there's a V8 in there. Pretty cool. Look at this beast here. This is a GMC Denali 2018. They're calling this a 10 by 10. It's got dual axles in the back. <laughs> Let's start from the front, work our way back. I like that custom grill. It says Denali in there. Fab Forge bumper, rigid LEDs. Crazy lift on this thing. Fox shocks, Cognito A arms, Cognito long travel suspension too. It looks like, yeah. That's crazy. The drive shaft looks kind of, kind of narrow for such a big truck, but I guess it works. So here's the dual axles in the back. Look at this thing. Airbags back here. Jeez. Can you imagine the, the cost of buying all these tires? That's 10 tires. Time warp. That's insane. As you can see, it's pretty quiet now because everyone's just setting up. But like I said, tomorrow, this place is going to be a madhouse. Pretty nuts, all right? All right, guys. Oh, check it out. So there you have it. That is my uh, sneak peek pre-show of SEMA. If you like the video, please hit that like button to support my channel. And uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the pre-show of SEMA. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bentley hanging out here. Hardly even notice it here at SEMA. Oh, this is the new. Yeah, we walked in from way down there. Way over there where all the trucks are? Yeah, yeah. yeah.
And we didn't even walk through this one. We walked all around. That's where I'm going to be all. Check this rat rod called the Joker. This thing is nuts. Oh my God. And it has nitrous too. Turbocharged. V8 with nitrous. Oh, and it's supercharged too? Wait, how's that? Wait a minute. Turbocharged, supercharged, and nitrous? I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> That's crazy. It's called the Joker. Wow. That is nuts.